are you excited to make this box i think it's absolutely so cute i have a version with windows and doors and the other one is just a simple one i hope you like it this is what we're going to be making today let's get started guys let's get started first of all i want to tell you that i am using the park lane collection from joann's and this is in the paper stock in the paper stack section and this is 110 and you guys this is so insanely amazing insanely amazing for this project because it's so solid and as a regular price it's 40 sheets for um nine i think it's 9.99 or something something crazy cheap like that and so I got the black and the white one for to be used for prototypes. So we're going to need two 12 by 12. And I am going to show you how to cut it. First, we're going to cut for the base of... Um, we're going to call this, as you may have known already, we're going to call it Espresso Lee For You Box. So we're going to need two sheets of six and a half right there we're gonna need two sheets six and a half by um eight and seven eight we're gonna do two of that and i'm gonna tell you how to score it and then i'm gonna tell you how to do the side panels so let's do that real quick so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut six and a half by eight and seven eight you're gonna need two pieces of this um to make this project so six and a half Right there by eight and seven eight okay right there so make two of this because it's going to be the front and the back of your expressly for you box next for the side panels you're going to need two of that you're going to need um two sheets or two strips the first strip is going to be 12 by 3, so we're going to cut that right now. So this, since this is a 12 inch paper, I'm going to cut 3 inches. So this is one, and then you're going to need another strip. You're going to cut another 3 inches, and then you, you cut it at 7 and a half. Let me do that right now. So I have this... 12 by um, 3 inches so I'm going to cut it at seven and a half and this is going to be your other strip it's very important now we go to the scoring okay okay so we have our scoreboard we have our bone folder and this is our paper so since we are at the six and a half inch side you're going to score at one half. This is going to give you, um, ew, sorry about that sound. This is going to give you kind of like an idea of where to cut. That's why we're doing these score marks. So one and a half, one and three fourths, and one inch. Okay. And then you do it for the same side. Just turn it and do the same thing. One half three-fourths and one inch oops uh oh let me reinforce that one inch okay next you turn it and now you are at the eighth eight and seven eight side so you score at one inch and one and five eight okay so I hope you see the score marks right there. So when you look at the score marks, what you're going to do is you need to cut this based on these. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark it. I hope you can see that. I'm, I'm sh just showing you where to cut because this is what our coffee cup should be looking like, you know. Okay, you see, this is your half an inch, 
three fourths and one inch and then you're going to connect this to this side let me get my ruler i want to make sure that um this is explained very well because this is the bread and butter of this project and this is what allows us to make 3d projects is these kinds of measurements okay so i'm just connecting the lines from the first to the third score mark. Okay. So this is where you're going to cut. And then what I suggest is you make it into a template. That's going to be your template. So you cut this. You make two of this. And then you should be good. If you want to make one. And then when it comes to our strips, we have a 12 by 3, and we have a 7.5 by 3. So, with, same with it, all the other projects that we have. We're going to score both strips, one half, half an inch, half an inch on both sides, okay? Same for the other, half an inch on both sides, half an inch, okay? And then... For this, for this um, 12 inch panel, you're going to score at 7 and 1 fourth because that's the height of your coffee panel. 7 and 1 fourth right there. And then you're going to score it at 11 and a half. Oops. And 11 and 3 fourths. 11 and a half and 11 and 3 fourths for the seven and a half strip guy you're going to score this at one fourth and one half inch see it and this is where we're going to connect we scored it twice because this is where the fold mark will be this is where it's going to fold. If you want to, you can snip this and attach it right there as well. Okay. See it? I hope that makes sense. All right. Now we have our two pieces, the front and the back. I suggest you create your template so that you only have to score it one time. What I did is I created a template for this, which is... The one that I scored, I created a template for the inner base like this. Um, that allows me to put a decorative layer. I created an outside template like this one to match perfectly with a lid of the coffee. And an inner template for this just in case I want to layer that up again. I also created... A template for the sleeve so this you have to keep in your craft notebook just so you have it handy um, templates are really really important with these projects so we have our two and you're gonna set this aside and you're going to notice the score marks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it like this and we're gonna be st we're gonna start Okay, I'm going to score this one first. The one-fourth piece. I want to score that because that's where it's going to belong. Just so it's easier for us to kind of take get it later. And so I'm going to remove this one. By the way, you don't have to make it white. You can make it whatever color you prefer. Um, I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So this is going to be our score mark. I'm folding it on the score marks like this. And then we're going to fold our score marks and then put the adhesive. So make sure that you fold that nicely. So easy, you guys. Like this box, the Espresso Leaf For You box, this is going to be in your stash of crafty things to do on every single occasion. This is absolutely perfect for Valentine's, for birthdays. 
it is so cute it's like a purse or a box together and it's so absolutely darling like i would totally make this um every single occasion i have dreamt up you know i've been thinking about this project and how to make it concrete for a very long time honestly and so that's why i wanted to um i waited i waited for december daily prep to get this because december daily is just a very very special occasion for me and so and i look forward to it every single year and i thought that this espresso leaf for you craft um purse box is going to be so absolutely appropriate to release it during this season of the holidays and the holiday crafting paper season <clears throat> it's gonna be so so darn cute next if you have intentions of decorating the front box then now is the time to do that while it's flat if you also want to decorate your strip you can if you want to um now is the time to do that so what i did is i have let me see i have a decorated let me find my decorated oh here i have this decorated one that i am going to use that has like windows and i'm going to decorate that part later and so i'm gonna this is what we're going to be using and then now that we have the tape this is a technique that was taught to me by my friend debbie hi debbie and so you're going to remove your adhesive right after you you remove your adhesive you're going to snip these marks and then you attach it onto itself is that easier yes deb is a genius okay so now this is how we're going to attach it we're going to start with this first right there and right there attach these two sides first and then after that you can attach these two these two side panels it's easier that way don't forget to burnish it right there and guys this is super super perfectly fits the, um, the traveler's notebook that um, I taught you how to make during when we did the camera tutorial so I'm going to put a link down below for that traveler's notebook because it fits it absolutely perfectly today I'm also going to be showing you how to make the embellishment box that goes perfectly inside this together with the traveler's notebook I know I, I don't have an actual tutorial for that yet so we're going to be doing that as well and then here you remove it again this is like so easy remove that you snip it I it's your option if you want to decorate the front and the back right now for purposes of demonstration I'm only doing I'm only doing the the front part I'm only decorating the front part so this one is your make sure that all the score marks are inside even if you're not decorating it still has to be very pretty right there and so burnish that with your bone folder so easy absolutely easy to construct i think the value of this one is having like a thick that's why i thought this is the perfect and i wanted to mention this pay park lane 110 pound cardstock that i got from joann's is the most perfect for this project because this project is just so sturdy look how pretty this is our box 
she's it's too cute it's just so cute so i'm gonna decorate it and then i'll be back to show you our finished product okay i'm using these hanging snowflakes like ornaments but i got six pieces for a dollar and i'm gonna add it right here and then i'm using some stickers i have i'm just gonna directly glue gun it um i have some i have the project pad from the like little people so that's what i'm using they have like a project pad stickers so what i did is i put it on top of a nina solar white card stock and then fussy cut them and that's also what i'm going to use to decorate i don't want to cover the the coffiness of it oh what did i do I don't know if I did something wrong because it was like some things going with the glue gun. But anyways, so I'm going to put it right there. You can decorate however you like. And this one says Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to add this wreath to here. And I thought that was really appropriate. And I've already added some stickers. I'm using the Dear Santa Collection from Joann's. I'm going to put a poison of points of flower on this side. And what else can I add? Probably this to here. That's cute. I'm just using whatever I have. Probably this one would be cute there. Like presents. So cute and simple. And then your mini album is going to go inside there. And then this one we're going to decorate. This one, this one is a simpler version because it doesn't have any doors or anything. It's just simple. You know, put it together. Three pieces. No problem. So easy. And then you just put this sleeve right here um and then and then you call it good you know so i i want to show you also yeah i want to show you the simple version and the the decorated version just so you you know and you have a choice of what version to do same manner this one is a merry christmas it's an ornament from the Dollar Tree. The red is also an ornament from the Dollar Tree. I just took the string off of it. And so, yeah, that's how I was able to connect. And then this one is the Merry Christmas up top. I thought that was so beautiful. I'm going to put a simple Santa Claus right here in the middle of the party, right there. Maybe the snow girl. Let me get some glue sticks. Right there, the little girl. I mean, you can decorate it however simple or however complicated you prefer. But I'm just showing you. I just want to show you like a finished product. And then our next stop is we're going to be talking about the embellishment box. So quick. This is so quick and easy, you guys. So we have that and that. And we're going to do a quick um tutorial on how to decorate your on uh, how to create your embellishment box give me a sec i'll be back all right so for the embellishment box that fits inside the espresso for espressoly for you box um you're gonna need two sheets of nine by three fourths by six and one fourth okay so this is what we have i think I think this would be the inside, and this would be the top. 
it's too crazy i think this would be the top so we're going to score them all four sides we're going to score it a one inch and so you're going to do that for all of them just score it score so this is the bottom piece for the top piece you're going to score it out one inch and one half do the same thing one inch one half one inch and one half and this tells you where to cut when it comes to like where to cut the transparency for the transparency or acetate okay so our scoring is done let me put this away so now we're going to okay, burnish like this and always when you assemble a box make sure that you assemble the bottom first that's a good tip and also when it comes to december daily you guys uh, me and my friend a ava was talking about december daily um i normally write my notes on a post-it but she said that she normally writes them down on like a tiny little notebook like a tickler or like a small spiral like the days or like the events if you're not doing days specifically you can do like the events and what happened and what's the date that was part of that when it comes to your december daily so that was a good and i thought that was an amazing tip um so that you will remember the details and what you did that day so you can easily go back when the time is right so that you can finish your um your December daily and make sure that you're successful in that project. As you saw, I'm just snipping, snipping, snipping and talking, talking, talking. I'm just snipping on the first score mark closer to the outside or the perimeter of the box. Next, you're going to, using your X-Acto knife or like this one is a cutter from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I'm going to score the second score marks right there. I normally like to make marks on here just so I don't go over See, so this one this time you're marking the score marks that's closer to the center if you want to score the entire thing you can um, it's up to you I just want to make some cut marks and do this very carefully. Don't rush. And don't get hurt. You don't want your, your cup to be all bloody. Okay. So do the same thing. And this one, the length of the acetate should be four the acetate should be four by four by seven and a half would be good four and seven and a half your acetate so that it covers everything so just scoring it carefully up to the mark that i created for myself and then we will erase it later so that it's not showing I know it's not a big deal, but I feel like. And then you can use these as scraps. Okay, so um, acetate is four and seven and a half. I'm just writing it down. So let me get my acetate and then we'll assemble the box and then we'll decorate and then we are done. Okay, I'll be back. So now that I have a four, four and seven and a half acetate sheet, I'm just using my glue and I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue to attach my acetate. I like using this glue. Okay, right there. So I'm just putting it right there. 
so quick and easy it doesn't have to be um i just use the cheapo acetate from amazon you guys doesn't have to be like amazing acetate um obviously if you want it to be thicker you can um, if you want to make a border for this you can too if you want to you just have to measure i didn't measure this one like when it comes to the border strips but this is half an inch so if you do three eighths of an inch then you should be safe like strips if you want to so now we're going to assemble the embellishment box same as before like what we normally do you just use our glue gun put an l on it so that's why i suggest you have to do the inside portions the bottom portions first i think my glue gun is breaking because there's a small like jump ring that came out of it like from a spring and it's like it's acting differently I love my glue gun I cannot have it die on me today so I it is right now it's 4 30 in the morning and I'm transitioning to my shift so that's why um, I'm doing this tutorial. This is in preparation. We're going to be making this um, this specific box on Wednesday when I do a live. So, so that's why I want to I wanted to release the tutorial so you can do your prep work and cut your pieces before the live so we can you know assemble them together. Okay, so. so this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to assemble the same exact thing. Right there. I'm doing the opposite opposite side. Like if I'm I'm doing the left. I'm doing it here. I'm going to do it on this side. I think I have two. I have to burnish it. Because it's not folding very well. To be honest. Okay. So if you do that, then it's going to fold so much better. Don't follow me <laughs> with the non-burnishing situation. It's not a good idea. Always burnish. Always burnish. It will always help you in the long run. Don't be lazy. Right there. So I'm just approximating my corners. Okay, so that's what I do. I hold it and then I close it up. Same on the other side, same exact thing. And this would be your acetate box that fits perfectly. I'm going to put a link on to the, um, the tutorial for the Traveler's Notebook because I already have a tutorial for that. And I'm also going to put the measurements down below so you can easily do that. Easily create. I think this is so adorable. And then I suggest you just put flat embellishments on these. Nothing too bulky. Simply because they're, they have a finite amount of space inside this espresso box. You know. Put that. The hedgehog is driving. And then maybe... Like a sentiment here, like a Merry Christmas or something, or Happy Holidays. So, let's see if it works. So, if you put it right here, doesn't that fit perfectly? And if if you create your traveler's notebook, which is, this is the size of a traveler's notebook. And you just put it inside here. Then it is going to be so perfect. Right there. This holds it perfectly, hides it so that 
when you when you display it in your room you have it in here and then you can probably put the year here like 2020 or you can put the year here 2020 if you want to um, when you create your when you display it in your room in your craft room okay so I hope that helps kind of solidify what we were talking about um, this is my version, and I'm, we're calling it Espresso Lee. Me and Rachel were talking about it. We're calling it Espresso Lee for You box. It's a cute name. Um, I thought it was adorable. Anyways, so I hope you had fun. You can embellish this as much as you want. It's up to you. I just wouldn't suggest that you embellish the inside portion too much, but you can go to town in the front. That's not a problem. Just not on the inside because it's um, quite tight in there. Let me show you again. And you can create this for, for example, if you want to do this for um, Halloween. If you want to do this for birthdays, um, Thanksgiving, anything. Seriously, seriously, anything, anything would totally work for this. But look how it fits perfectly. You can even add a pen in there if you want to, like on here if you want. But this one is the version that has an acetate and then has doors on the inside. This one is a simpler version that has like flat. I think I need to add something onto here. Uh, maybe a rosette. And this one is the one that we made using prototype paper. So I thought these are such cute projects on Tuesday uh, on Wednesday I'm probably gonna be using doodle bug paper I think it would be absolutely darling and maybe make it into a house perhaps like a house and then like um I'm gonna probably put a chimney of some sort just to make it cute I don't know I don't know yet but I think that's a great idea anyway I hope you enjoyed our project for today let me know if you have any questions down below. The measurements are there for you. Um, I didn't do the Traveler's Notebook because I already have a tutorial for that. So, um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys. Oh, so cute. I just want to show you the details of the house. Right there. So cute. So cute.